parenting. It can be the hardest job in the world, but so much of a person's future success hinges on the love, care, and support they receive as a child. Children need guidance and role models to ensure their health and safety and to reach their full potential. For healthy development, kids need consistent care. Kids need to know what to expect every day. Kids need positive encouragement. They need to hear what they're doing right far more than they need to hear what they're doing wrong. Kids also need boundaries. Those are very important that people set tolerance levels for the kids. And when kids push up against those boundaries, they know that there are rules that apply to them and that there are limits to their behavior. Unfortunately, many children don't have access to the support system they need to thrive. Some have lost one or both parents or have parents who simply can't provide them with a decent environment in which to grow. These children are most at risk for behavior or health problems that can keep them from succeeding academically and socially. Children who do not have the opportunity to grow up in a healthy environment are more susceptible to gangs, substance abuse, truancy, and dropping out of school. If they're on the outside and not getting that proper encouragement from a family environment, they're going to see school as something that is hopeless, that is, is not an encouraging part of their life, and they, they will let school fade away. While experts agree that a stable two-parent household is best, substitute arrangements can be just as successful. Moose Heart Child City and School is a prime example. This nonprofit residential child care facility is home to more than 200 children who don't have suitable alternatives. A program like Moose Heart is vital to the success of many kids who are at risk in America today uh, because we provide that consistent care, responsible caregivers, a safe environment, very nurturing and loving family teachers who care for our kids. Also, social skill teaching is heavily emphasized here at Moose Heart. We want our kids to be able to do simple things like follow instructions, how to accept no for an answer, to know how to be able to resist peer pressure as they get older. So when some, someone offers them uh, drugs or alcohol, kids know how to say no to that respectfully and responsibly. While there is plenty of hope for these at-risk children, early action is key. If you know a child who may be at risk, the most important thing that you can do is act immediately. Don't wait. Time is really of the essence. Uh, there's, there is time to give that child a second chance at childhood, but you need to make contact either with a social service organization in your local community, or my advice would be to go to one of more than 1,800 Moose Lodges or chapters around the country that can connect you with Moose Heart. Located just west of Chicago, Moose Heart Child City and School has changed the lives of more than 12,000 children and teenagers since 1913. This child care facility houses and educates kids whose parents can't provide for them. The mission of Moose Heart Child City and School is to provide a caring, nurturing, loving environment and community for children who lack a secure home. Kids who need assistance academically, who need social skill development, who need a safe place to live, uh, kids who need a bed to sleep in or food on the table to eat. That's what Moose Heart provides. On this thousand acre campus, students get the consistency and attention they lack at home. The Moose Heart Child City includes accredited nursery, elementary, middle, and high schools with curriculum and athletic programs matching any school of its size across the country. Yet Moose Heart students get one benefit many schools don't offer, vocational training. What makes Moose Heart stand out from other schools is in addition to the great core academic curriculum they receive, there's also an additional component we call vocational training. What makes this so special is this allows kids hands-on work in the field of their choosing, such as automotive mechanics, cosmetology and barbering, health occupations, and business management information systems. And an important third option for many of our students is the military training they receive through the United States Navy ROTC program. This allows kids to gain self-confidence, military bearing, as well as learn the value of being a good citizen of their country. I believe one of the exciting things about students when they graduate from Moose Heart is the variety of options that they have. Through our vocational programming, they've been trained to be able to enter the workforce right away. Through our military training through the ROTC program, they're able to choose a branch of service that they may want to serve our country in. 
And finally, more than 80% of our graduates move on to a two or four year university, attending college on scholarships primarily funded by the men and women of the Moose fraternity. The business vocational training that I received in Moose Art is very beneficial to me. In my everyday occupation, uh, it helps me in maintaining some of my current customers, obtaining new customers, uh, understanding basic things as far as overhead, um, cost, expenses, stuff like that. Uh, it's altogether a good program. At the core of Moose Hearts program are the family teachers. These caring adults live among the students and offer compassion, order, and help develop social skills. Family teachers are critical to the program at Moose Heart in that they teach interpersonal skills such as time management, study skills, problem solving, and many more. With my experience with my family teachers um, when I lived in the North Carolina home, they spend time in taking us to extracurricular activities, being at our sporting events, helping us with study skills, helping me even apply to college. They even have kept in touch throughout college and have made it to my college graduation. Moose Heart Child City and School was founded and continues to be supported by the men and women of the Moose Fraternal Organization. First intended for needy children of members' families, today Moose Heart reaches out to any eligible child. It's a tradition of giving that has lasted nearly a century. Today, with support of over a million men and women of the Moose fraternity, Moose Heart continues to be able to provide a safe, caring, loving, nurturing home and school for children in need. I'd like to say thank you to the men and women of the Moose for contributing so greatly to my life and the life of my three brothers and countless other children that have come through the doors here. Your contributions can't possibly be measured and uh, again, thank you. Without Moose Heart, I wouldn't be nearly as successful as I am today. They prepared me for college, um, provided me with a college scholarship, and even helped me pick out the college I wanted to choose. I just graduated with my bachelor degree, and now I feel like I, Moose Heart has prepared me with the skills to go on job interviews and to even further my education. With an environment of support and opportunity, Moose Heart Child City and School continues to transform today's disadvantaged youth into tomorrow's greatest successes. The future of Moose Heart Child City and School is incredibly bright. Because of the support of the men and women of the Moose fraternity, corporations and private donors who want to partner with Moose Heart to continue to provide a caring home for children in need. Going forward, I see Moose Heart serving greater and greater numbers of children in need as well as continuing to be a leader in the residential child care field today.